Please. Please say something. Diana. What? What is it? You're on my hand. <sighs> Just stay calm, I'll dig you out. <clears throat> Your harmonizer's toast, but I gave you mine. So much tea energy to draw on. Did here. it work? Are they safe? I think so. He even gave them cover. If they stick to the plan, they should be miles deep before another punches through. Good, good. You need to be gone when they do. Fat chance, old man. You're my lamp alien. I'm not leaving you in here. <sighs> Damn it, why can't I move this thing? You're as stubborn as your grandmother. This is all my fault. I just listened to you. No, you were right. I deserved every word. No, just forget about that, please. It doesn't matter. It does. When you've been keeping secrets so long, it's hard to stop. There are things you have a right to know. We'll have time later. <laughs> Stop. Come on. Damn it. Damn. Stop. You know, back on Earth. My father believed you had to confess your sins. If you want to be forgiven. He never got the chance, but... Maybe this is mine. The Earth was a troubled place when I left it. I was 32 when they recruited me. A bold and lucrative opportunity to be part of an expedition to an unexplored world. Fifty years ago now. Fifty years of living with the consequences of my choices. Fifty years since I damned us all. We were blown by the storm. However, it appears the transponder guiding our welcoming party to this location was lost in the crash. Without that, our odds of survival are remote. I suggest we find it. Stay here while I track it down. I think we're alone out here.
Let's get some light in here. the save. I owe you one. Oui, oui. Le roi, c'est moi. <laughs> Time enough for that later. Head back to the supply drop and try not to get stepped on. Huh? Kovac, Dr. Kendrick Kovac. Don't call me Kenny. Hey, my name's Hutchings. Friendly Frenchman's LaRoche. So, you're not packing a long-range fire arm, are you? Not on me. But somewhere in that ship, I got a 30 6 old family heirloom. No idea where it's packed. Got my pistol, though. Good enough. Give me a second. I'm going to retire to the relative safety of the interior. Good luck up here. Indigenous creatures. 
<laughs> oh, buddy, you're going to learn to take things Navic tells you with a grain of salt. In fact, some days you might need a bucket of the stuff. You sound like Diaz. Hey, say what you will. She raised some valid questions. Yeah, sure, sure. You mean she blatted out insane conspiracy theories every time you're trying to drink in peace. Why even work for a company if you accuse it of such things? Who's this Diaz? Sounds like a character. She's the one you're replacing. A contractor like you and I. Until she disappeared. Man, this supply drop couldn't have come sooner. We, oui, the very stale. And also the pornography. Uh, this Braddock's got... Oh, son of a bitch! Peace somehow. What now? Your environment suit is within umbilical range of my read. You should be seeing extra tactical readouts. Minimap, radar, loadout details. As long as you stay close to the rig, you may come home. Good deal. Use your radar to see advancing enemies. Look now! Hey, Toby. Pick up the growing orange blood the animals leave behind. You will need it for later. It's fun. Thanks, boss. I know what I'm doing here. Do it yourself. Huh. Okay, you're all set. Heads up. We got incoming. friend on this base. We all miss Diaz. But I tried to warn you, Nevik would never use that an excuse until they started seeing results. It's not about Jeanette. You know it's not. Oh, so you're still blaming me, though? I never said that. You didn't have to. You just checked out. They're looking for something that doesn't exist. I'm directing my efforts where the science leads. That used to matter to you. It still does, Bonnie, but this isn't my call. Nevik is footing the bill for this operation. They insisted. And that's it. Not a peep from you. Not a... <laughs> it's only because of me that you still even have a job here. Oh, yes, a job answering to... Him. Uh, Dr. Kovach. I see you made it in one piece. Yes, it's been an eventful morning. Phil Braddock, I presume? Mm -hmm. Dr. Roman? Been some time. Feels like yesterday, Kenny. You'll excuse me. Okay. And you must be Jim Payton. You really stepped up out there. You must have a million questions. 
I uh, hope you don't mind being thrown into the deep end. Uh, sir, I'm here to work. All I need to know is how a man can earn some credits around here. <laughs> Thermal energy. That's the name of the game. Acred blood? It's to tell you, boss, we just spilled gallons of the stuff. Oh, it's well more than that. Flows through everything on EDN3. Creatures, tectonics, all the way down to the core. That's what makes life possible in a climate like this. No other substance like it in the universe. And Nevek believes this can solve the energy crisis on Earth. Oh, I believe it can. We're here to study it. Find a way to make it viable, cost-effective for harvest and export. We are leaving no angle unexplored. Very good. Science is always best, without boundaries. Pete and I got a lot of contracts that'll keep you busy. Construction repairs on the base, but uh, if you want to go home a rich man, you'll take on that hazard pay. Keep us supplied with this stuff. Yes, sir. Just point me to my rig. Peyton, I can't recommend strongly enough that you visit the Quartermaster and get yourself a good hunting knife. You've seen how up close and personal the acrid can get. But first you want to head down to the service pit and inquire with our lead tech, Gale, as to the status of your rig. Welcome aboard, Jim. Uh, Doctor, if you'll stay and chat. Sorry you had to see that. You know Bonnie can have a flair for the dramatic. Is that what that was? I assumed it was sarcasm. Usually she just yells at me. I know everyone's excited about the supply drop, but no crowding this time. I see anyone near the inventory out of turn. I'm docking his next paycheck for time lost. Hello? Anybody home? Must be the new Jeanette. I guess. Call me Jim. Jim, outstanding. Welcome to EDN3, Jim. The E stands for extreme. Still working on the rest. That's great, kid. You want to point me in the direction of your boss? Oh, uh, Mr. Braddock? I think you'd have seen him already, but yeah. No, I mean the lead tech for this bay. I think they said her name was Gail. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. That's kind of me. I know, I know, I hear it all the time. Girl's name, shouldn't I be off looking for a date for junior prom? Dude, I understand you're concerned. But don't worry about a thing. I am totally getting college credit for this gig. I'm kidding, I'm, I'm kidding. Not in the mood, I read you. Listen, kid, Gail. How about we do the get to know you while we work on putting my rig together? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, hey, are you serious? Uh, yeah. We shipped ahead in pieces. <laughs> now that I'm here, we can build it. Um, the thing is, I kind of put it together last week. Again. It's a nice solid rig you got. Pretty intuitive design. It was no trouble. I had fun with it, really. All the diagnostics checked out. In fact, I just got done with the finishing touches. What finishing touches? Threw on some spring-loaded Kerner retractors. Jeanette said they always came in handy when the heat was on, which happens more often than you think on an ice planet. Get it? <laughs> ice planet? Because the heat... Kid. Went... Listen to me and listen close. I got three things in the world. My wife, my son, and this rig. 
Guess which one I'm counting on to take care of the other two. You follow? That is my whole nest egg. I built it myself. I know every gear, every circuit, and I can't have her breaking down on me because some intern needed to show off. Can I just say two quick things? Please. Okay, first, you can't really say in the world anymore because you're on another planet. Sorry, just pet peeve. And? And secondly, okay, it's your show, Jim. I'm just here to help out. Give it a test drive whenever you feel like it, and if it ain't ship shape, break it all down by morning. Deal? I promise you won't be sorry. Let go of my hand. Okay. Your rig's up in your bay. I'll meet you up there whenever you wander up. Take your time. Jim Payton, please report to the quartermaster in the basement level. Jim Payton to the quartermaster. I heard the whole hangar John about how we were getting a fresh pair of faces around here. I'm the quartermaster, name's Bowers, but most people call me Birdie. You make an honest dollar, you come spend it here, eh? All right, pal, take your time eyeballing the wares. I'll stay out of your hair. Quality hunting knife, top of the line for up close protection. Comes with a lifetime guarantee and unlimited free sharpening. Not that you'll need it. Now that's a sweet one. Pump action, nine shot capacity, synthetic stock and forearm. She's ideal for your close quarters combat. See you around. Yeah, nice meeting you, Birdie. What'll it be? Come back any time, eh?
need this though. Oh, you ready to try this? Dry treated hypertensile kern retractors. I like to call it the Cockpit Express. You got one on the front, one on the back. You just clip in, give the line a tug, shoop! And by shoop, you mean launch myself up at solid metal from 10 meters down and hope I don't break my neck? As an alternative to being eaten? Yeah. Shit, kid. Just a little gift from yours truly. Okay, just a few more tests. Now the drill. Great. Lastly, I upgraded the shielding on your rig's bracers to class four. Try a defensive posture. Mm, beautiful. You'll be using that move here on EDN3 more than you have probably on any other job. Sweet. We're done. Let's release your rig. Be free! LaRoche, come in. Corona's base to LaRoche. Do you copy? God damn it, we can't lose LaRoche now. We barely have Diaz replaced. Hey, Chief. Jim Payton here. You copy? Payton. Is your rig online already? Yeah, looks like the kid here might know his stuff, but I'll know for sure after I take her out for a spin. That French fella still not back? Yes, I'm afraid he hasn't been responding to radio calls. Well, why don't I go have a look for him? I know where we parted ways, and he did save our butts just a little. Say no more, Peyton. You've got your first assignment. Good luck. Doesn't look good. Best if 
follow the trail. Coronas, this is Peyton. You still read me? Peyton, Coronas actual. Copy you loud and clear. Any sign of LaRoche? We're on the Farmer's Ridge, Beckett. Let's see, White Canyon Junction? Looks pretty beat up, but no trace of the man himself. Thanks for the update. Just keep looking. I know he's out there somewhere. Radic out. Hello? 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 La Roche! La Roche! La Roche! You out here? You out here? You out here? Over here! Over here. C'est des conneries. I had that crab out of its shell and ready to dip in butter. Then one foot sleeps over the ledge and my whole rig is on her back. Did you see what he did to her? Nothing that can't be fixed. You're lucky you got out with all your limbs. Ah, keep your perspective to yourself, rookie. Fight a few giant crab monsters of your own, then speak to me of luck. Fair enough. Guess we're even. survive. Then we keep score. This is Peyton. I found your Frenchman. He's at a fueling depot near Watkins Pass. Oh, that's a relief. Sending out a rescue team now. Good work, Peyton. You should find your account credited with a search and rescue bonus. Uh, hold on. Peyton, you say here near Watkins Pass? Your predecessor, Diaz, set up a thermal post nearby. It's been sitting full, wasting tea energy since she disappeared. Locate the post and tap it before you return. Just be careful. Acrid like a nest around untended thermal posts. Good luck.